or kill the tape for this flyweight fight. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen. Ready. Ready. Go. Well, it's a venue that needs no introduction. The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. Even for a Boston guy, I have levels of appreciation for the building. I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chilled because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. He's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, looks tight to me. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots. Together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Big body kick. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, he landed a flying knee there. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge strike, and now he's going to flap the gums a little bit. Flapping the gums and dancing. Wow. Be that comfortable. It's crazy to watch. Huge block there. As the fight goes on, you'll see Figueredo pick it up a little bit as he starts to feel more comfortable. Try to get the big shots off. Everything he throws with absolute power. From his punches to his kicks, just power in everything he does. Caught the kick. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Nice combination of strikes there by Perez. Can't take many of those, you better check. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. Perez's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Oh, how many knees can one man take? Pretty good jab there by Perez. 20 seconds to go. Oh, the high kick lands. To the body in it lands. Second round, straight ahead. All right, DC, relaxa, respira. Olha, você está sendo muito agressivo na luta, tá? Eu tenho que você, você tem que focar. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the outcome. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Get your right hand up. Nice hook lands. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. On the belly, raining down punches here. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Figueredo gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. 
Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. All right, so a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if of course you don't succeed. So I try again, was able to get him down. First, Figueredo's looking to lock up an arm bar here. What a tight arm bar. Whoa, somehow, someway, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Figueredo's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Perez. He's got to start going down. Most fighters will... Uh, watch the yard, the yard bar going up. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Oh, my gosh. How did he get his arm? Unbelievable. He looked like he was done, but he was able to slip the arm off. That's as big a strike as he has played in those four times. Big, massive shot lands. Look at him pump with the pull. Oh, Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. All right, opens the guard now. Ten minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go back out into the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself... Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Jab now again, the fighter of eights. Perez has got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Just get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we... Oh! Oh, oh, my goodness! With a massive highlight at the garden! Holy smokes! The official decision is now in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 14 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout.